A montage of photographs depicting students and teachers. A graphic of the Perkins logo and the words, Teachable Moments. A title, Low Vision, Measuring Liquids with Kate Fraser. Hello, I'm Kate Fraser from the Perkins School for the Blind. Today's science tip and teachable moment is about how to pour liquids for a student who is visually impaired and has low vision. Kate Fraser sits at a table. On the table, a plastic pitcher with colored liquid sits in an aluminum pan. On a tray in front of Kate are two plastic beakers, a large syringe, and a graduated cylinder with markings for measuring liquid volume. A bright yellow material taped to the back of the cylinder creates a contrast for the markings. We're going to consider the graduated cylinder, which is commonly introduced in science classes in, in elementary school. We're going to use a syringe for more precise measurement, and we have a measuring cup that is marked in milliliters. We've tinted our water because very often if it's not going to affect the experiment, water that's colored will um, be much easier for a student to, um, to do with low vision. However, this also can be done with um, water that has not been colored. The graduated cylinder is correctly used by the um, scientist bringing themselves down to look at the line at eye level because um, there's a meniscus that forms when water is poured and the water sticks to the sides a bit of the graduated cylinder. So the more accurate measurement is obtained by achieving a stance of being at eye level with the water. Normally when I'm teaching this, I'm sitting next to the student, but for the purpose of this activity, I'm sitting in as if I were across from the student. So let's first try this with um, pouring just with this yellow marker on here that helps for all students make the lines clearer, particularly at the 10 milliliter marks. And I have that to the rear of the cylinder, holding it away from me. And then I'm pouring. I also have the student listen, so that then use a pitcher that has a good spout on it. It's easier to pour, so I'm going to start getting down now and making sure that I'm at eye level and that I can see it. And that looks pretty good to me. So 50 milliliters. Now, if that was difficult for the student. Perhaps adding a wiki stick at the desired level might work. I could add the wiki stick here at the 50 to help make the mark a little bit more visible. Let's say I wanted, for example, a more precise amount. Maybe I'd have the sighted assistance mark it. Let's say the experiment called for 35 or 36. Put the wiki stick at that particular level. And then the student could pour. A small piece of wiki stick placed at the desired mark is a helpful guide to a student with low vision. Again, looking to see when the level lines up at eye level with the wiki stick. That's pretty close. Good enough for elementary school, probably. So again, with practice, the student will become more accurate. I'm going to transfer this into my experiment here. Now, let's look at this measuring cup, which has been marked by the teacher. These marks that are on here are impossible for a student with low vision to see, most likely. So the teacher said, for this experiment, we need 200 milliliters of liquid. So this has been marked with a wiki stick, and the student will 
put it so that that's available. Move the student will move themselves back and look at it, get a sense about where that is. Line this up. A large plastic measuring cup is wrapped by an orange wiki stick at the 200 millimeter level. Make sure that it's all there. Begin to pour. And continue to pour and stop. And then that could be added to the experiment. Now, syringes. Scientists very often use syringes because it's m possible to get a much more precise measurement with a syringe than you can with a measuring cup or even a graduated cylinder. So this one has been marked at the proper amount of milliliters that you wish to um, syringe up into this and by the sighted assistant, the lab assistant, or the teacher. And make sure that the syringe is placed all the way in. Bring it in. The large syringe is placed into the pitcher of colored liquid and the proper amount is drawn off. And the black plunger, the bottom of the black plunger, will line up in this case the amount then you can add it to your experiment and that's today's teachable moment about measuring for students with low vision